remember the first time uh, we had John on here at the college and we sat in my office and we discussed what we do as an institution. John was like, wow, I didn't realize. And after having a wonderful conversation with him about all that we do and the many students that we impact, 57,000 alum and 18,000 students and how we train students, he really opened his eyes to the college and has become a friend of this institution. John uh, Hazen White Jr. is uh, a special Rhode Islander. He is uh, somebody I've gotten to know uh, over the years. I knew his dad, uh, who was a great champion of Rhode Island, and John has really not only taken on that mantle, but I think is going to step forward. Johnny's mother and dad were known for their philanthropy. John and Liz are known for their philanthropy. We have five mission statements on the um, foundation, which is education, arts, health care, environment, community services. John supports them wholeheartedly on a daily basis. We're a major employer in the state of Rhode Island, so I think that being stable and, and, and prospering in the state and giving back to the state are, are significantly important things to do, uh, both for the benefit of the state and the people in the state and as, as leaders. We look to educational institutions that are playing a significant role in the Rhode Island economy. Certainly the Community College of Rhode Island fits that description perfectly. Uh, also, CCRI has been very actively participatory in the TACO Learning Center activity. So I think we've, we've drawn on resources from CCRI to assist us. And obviously that's a revenue generator for the college in these tough times. John runs an outstanding corporation and is very high on training his employees and providing a great work environment for them. Some of the courses that I took there, the accounting courses, um, some of the leadership courses, helped me develop my professional and personal achievement here at TACO. It's, I'd say, a multi-level involvement of both institutions, each helping the other and supporting the other's mission. For us to be a part of that is pretty exciting. Every single employee knows his name, and he knows everyone else's name, and he knows how they're doing, how their family is. He's an entrepreneur, and he's always looking for a new thing to do, and that's the kind of spirit uh, we, we love in Rhode Island, so, so much need. In these tough economic times, um, we've had to take on fundraising in a very different way to do some great projects. Speaking with Ray, they were looking for an opportunity to um, look for some funding. I was able to come back to John to update their library and upgrade the computer system, a better environment. The difference that TACO makes is the difference that moves this college ahead. Without his donation, the library project wouldn't have been possible, and certainly our students are in great need of economic support, so scholarship at these times is one of the greatest gifts he could give. It's incumbent on us to make sure that young people, old people, in-between people all have the opportunity to continue to learn, to grow and to develop their own selves. And this is a great avenue for that and thus uh, we've decided to become a more and more active participant in CCRI. He's got a big heart, he's humble, he's very giving. Um, again, the Changing Life Celebration is all about what John is trying to do here at TACO and throughout the community. John has contributed some nice checks to the institution, just shy of about 50000 and for that we're very grateful. But it's his impact on the community, the business, and we're not the only one that they contribute to. They contribute to a lot of nonprofits, and uh, Takeo Corporation makes a difference in Rhode Island. And John Hayes and White, we're, we're very grateful, and we're very happy to celebrate you as our business champion.